this is a handy little thing. Oh, all right, sprint's done. Time to test out this bad boy. My good friend, Mert, got me this for my birthday. So, no more shaky vlogs. It's gonna be sick. Uh, so sprint's done. Um, good fun. It was 150 meters uphill. It was pretty nasty. Just did five of them, walk back recovery, but it was all out. It was uh, no messing. Ugh. So, yeah. I'm not a liar, you can see. I'm sweating. So, yeah. Good fun all together though. Um, so as I said, at the start of quarantine, I was doing more distance running, something I've never done before. And it's okay, it just, just didn't feel great. Like, um, I've always felt they've gotten a lot leaner by sprinting, more fun. And uh, yeah, so, Back to doing sprints. The sprints are way nastier than distance running. Distance running is just kind of shut up and just do it. But uh, yeah, sprints, sprints will uh, will test you, see what you're made of. So okay, now I've got this gimbal for a set of your videos. Even though you're supposed to walk kind of smooth with it, and I'm fucking flying up a hill. But it's still a lot smoother than holding a camera. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do walking talks where I talk crap about fitness and shit like that, and you listen if you wanna. If you don't, I won't be offended. But yeah. work so if you have any if you have any questions for these walking talks let me know so happily do it I'm still kind of figuring out how to use this you can a few different ways some some ways it it tracks you the other ways to just stay steady, so we'll see. So I just thought I was having this morning. Um, let's check up here. Still a bit of exploring. Yeah, I don't have thoughts this morning. Just in terms of physique, you need very little to maintain your physique. Like I haven't lifted properly since January. Still have somewhat of physique. Um, past three weeks I've done. No, it's just a private gate. Past three weeks I've done a tiny bit of lifting, but before that, it was uh, I did Murph in January, and then I just farted around with my training until March, until the lockdown hit, and since then I've been mainly outside. Uh, so I haven't really been doing the tracking the training too much but here's a little physique update you know still keeping a decent bit of muscle um, and still somewhat lean so, so yeah you, you need very little to uh, to keep your physique so you saw mine I just included it there but yeah they're my thoughts you don't need to be overthinking your training. You need to eat well. You need to keep moving. Right, you do need some resistance training, but for a lot of people, body weight's gonna cut it. Especially for maintaining. Maybe not gaining, but maintaining body weight's gonna cut it. Pull up some push-ups every day. If I did those every day, I might even gain muscle, you know? So, um, 
yeah, just don't be overthinking your training. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be that crazy. You know, stay in the move. So, like, I could have been training in the gym, but I'd rather be out in the sun. Probably do me more benefit getting vitamin D, moving the body, heel sprints, pull ups on a branch, ring session. Uh, if you're doing rings outside, well, that's you, that's your upper body sorted. You're gonna be jacked. And uh, if you train on the rings properly, you generally, you genuinely don't need. Uh, you don't need weights for, for the upper body. Lower body's a little bit different, but right now I'd rather run hill sprints fast and explosive rather than squat heavy. It's just where I am now. Um, might get the bug to, to lift heavy again in terms of squatting and deadlifting, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't appeal to me, so. They were my they were my main thoughts today. These are rambling. So when you see these walking talks, they're gonna be a bit more rambling. I'm not gonna be concise and to the point. So I'm out here enjoying my walk and just chatting away. It's a good one to get your questions in as well. Um Yeah. Uh, what else was I thinking? Yeah, food quality as well. You saw my last video. Food quality is everything. Uh, genuinely not couldn't be bothered counting macros or trying to fit crap in like eat really well 90% of the time make it a habit it's better for regulating your hunger as well and then certain occasions have a little bit of fun food um, yeah as I said for me tiny bit of junk food that's bye bye. Floodgates are open. I'm destroyed. I'm gonna be eating everything. So eat well, clean. You know the nutrition heads will, will laugh about clean eating, even though I'm I'm more qualified than than most of them. Um, I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to try. Sound super smart. I'm gonna give you what's, what works. Two different things. You're here for uh, you're here for the results, not just to not just to be back in college, but I'll still school you. Um, I know I'm only messing. A lot of my friends are will be like that, but uh, and they put out good stuff. But then there's some people that just take it too far. Keep it simple. Shouldn't be overthinking your training that much or your eating. If you have a good coach or you're in a good gym, they look after that for you. That's the best thing you can do and you have a good environment to train. Um, but then if, you, if you're one that's just training on their own, don't overthink it. Consistency is gonna, it's gonna be, you know, trying to do it perfect. Six months of perfect training and perfect eating aren't gonna compare to 10 years of decent training, decent eating, you know? Um, so training that you can do consistently, that still delivers the results, and eating that you can do consistently, that delivers the results. As I said, the best diet is a diet you can stick to. If you can't stick to it, well then good luck. The way I eat, I can stick to it. I've been eating like this for years. And yeah, there we have it. So just did, took a little like, what, 20 minute walk uh, after the hill sprints, just to move out the legs. The legs are feeling tired after yesterday. Trained twice yesterday. So keep the legs moving, stay active. And just get in the sun. Like I'm tanned as hell now. Yeah, you can't really see because I'm in the sun, but I'm tanned as hell. People are looking at me, give me dirty looks because I think I've been away on holidays. But uh, it's brilliant for the, for the soul, great for the skin, great for your health. Don't be afraid of the sun. It just makes you, just makes you happier. So that's today's rambling. I'll do a few of these, and if I get some questions, it'd be even better. Because I was going to do the live for the Q and A's, but 
it's going to leave the lives because you're you get screwed with quality if the Wi-Fi connection goes a little bit it just downgrades the quality so then that doesn't look good for people checking it out later on or people watching it live so we'll do these walking talks and somewhere where I'm walking nice so it's not as boring it's not me sitting down staring at a screen beautiful This is a handy little thing. Um, so yeah, there we there we have it. Nearly at the end of the walk. If I can help you, answer any questions, comment below. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you're only checking me out now, please subscribe. If you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed, then well then you definitely should be subscribed. Share with your friends. Check out some of my other videos. I enjoy doing mad stuff and I'm going to keep continue, continuing to do mad stuff. Um, just yeah, provide, the, provide the ideas to me and I'll happily do it. Even anything eating, even if you want to do something nastier than just a 10,000 calorie challenge, like the nastiest food combinations I can eat, I'll do it. But, uh, <sighs> Oh, I could stay in the sun all day. But yeah, thanks a lot guys for checking out my first walk and talk. And we'll do more of these, as long as the weather's good.